so hello everyone good evening so here we shall solve some more previous year kcet questions on the chapter mechanical properties of solids uh, and if you have any any questions in any of the solutions or any other doubts then please write us in the comments section and um, if in any other chapter if you feel uh, that it is more difficult then please write the name of that particular chapter also in the comments section so so that we can give more priority on it and solve more and more questions on that chapter uh, and the home homeworks will also be up uploaded in the sapiens education application um, so please in install our sapiens education application whose link has been provided in the description so here we shall start with the uh, first question of the chapter mechanical properties of solids <coughs> So the first question is which of the following substances has the highest elasticity? So the the rule is that the greater is the value, the greater is the value of greater is the value of the Young's modulus of elasticity. The greater is the value of the Young's modulus of elasticity of that substance. The greater is the elasticity of that substance. The greater is the elasticity of that substance. So here, among all these, sponge, rubber, steel, copper, steel has the highest Young's modulus. So steel has the highest elasticity. So since here steel has steel has the highest value of Young's modulus highest value of Young's modulus among all these among all these given substances so steel has the highest elasticity so option B is the correct answer then it, in question number 2 it is told the following okay so in any of the steps of the solution if you are unable to understand uh, or any other doubts if you have then please write us in the comments section the following four wires of length L and radius R <coughs> are made of the same material which of the following will have the largest extension when the same tension is applied <coughs> so their material is same it means their Young's modulus is the same Young's modulus is same it means we know that y equals to same tension is applied so Young's modulus is stress by strain stress by strain so I can say that y equal to stress which is the force per unit area divided by strain which is delta L by L so therefore we can say y is equal to F L by A delta L so now therefore delta L will be equal to F L by A Y F L by A Y now the area of cross section is pi R square so I can say it is F L by pi R square into Y so F pi and Y they are constant so therefore the, the amount of extension that is proportional to L by R square that is length by R square So now it means that if the value of L by R square is highest then that will have the largest extension. So now uh, the value of L by R square for the first option that is equal to 100 centimeter divided by R square which is 0 0.2 whole square millimeter square. So that is um, so 100 centimeter I can say it is 100 into 10 millimeter since 10 millimeter equal to 1 centimeter 
so this this divided by 0 0.2 whole square that is 0 0.04 millimeter square so that is equal to 4 by 100 again so that is 25 so 25000 per millimeter this is millimeter inverse okay and then so for the first option and then for the second option the value of l by r square that is equal to 200 means 2000 millimeter divided by 0 0.4 millimeter so 0 0.4 whole square millimeter square so that will be 2000 divided by 0 0.016 so 16 so 16 by 100 this is 4 4 the 16 4 5 the 20 so 4 25 by 100 so that is millimeter inverse so that is 25 5 the 125 1 2 5 0 0 so 12500 millimeter inverse and then for the option c it is the value of n by r square is, will be 300 so 3000 millimeter divided by 0 0.6 means 0 0.6 whole square millimeter square so that will be equal to 3000 divided by 6 so 36 by 100 millimeter inverse so that will be 12 3 the 36 3 12 the 36 3000 the so then 4 3 the 12 4 25 the 100 so this is uh 25 by 3 that is approximately 8.333 or into 1000 millimeter inverse so that is equal to 8 3.33 millimeter inverse so then in the option d l by r square that will be equal to 400 by 0 0.8 for so 4000 millimeter divided by 0 0.8 whole square millimeter square so that will be equal to 4000 divided by 8 is 64 into 100 millimeter inverse so that is 4 the 416 the 64 then 4000 this is 4 4 the 16 425 the, then this is 425 the 100 so 215 to 253 215 to 25 that is 6250 minute inverse so therefore the maximum value of l by r square is uh, here it is told same tension is applied so f is same and same material also it is so it means that y is also same so therefore the value of l by r square is maximum for the option a so option a is the correct answer since here only the maximum uh, the largest extension will be obtained for the same tension option a is the correct answer then the ratio of hydraulic stress ratio of hydraulic stress to the corresponding strain is hydraulic stress means it is called as bulk stress also so bulk stress by bulk strain hydraulic stress is also called bulk stress bulk stress by bulk strain is bulk modulus so option a is the correct answer A is the correct answer then fourth option it is fourth, on, fourth question it is a spring is stretched by applying a load to its free end a spring is stretched by applying a load to its free end which is of mass m the strain produced in the spring is so when the spring spring expands then the length also is expanding okay so here uh, Apply, uh, so when the load is applied then the spring expands means 
the so the loops also gets unwinded the loops in the string also gets un unwinded it means it becomes like this it means uh, okay. means that the number of turns per unit length that increases so there is a longitudinal strain also since the length increases and there is a shearing stress also so both longitudinal and shearing stress is there both longitudinal and shearing stress is there shearing stress or shearing strain is there since why here the length increases means delta l by l the the change in length per unit length that is called as the uh, longitudinal strain longitudinal strain and shearing strain it means that it is the okay. shearing strain it means that the angle suppose one block is there then the angle it increases it means that one surface is fixed and on one surface the force is applied then the shearing stress is given as this delta phi this angle delta phi which is equal to this delta x by this l delta x by l is is called as the shearing strain so it is simply the angle which it is creating when one surface is fixed and the other surface is being pulled okay, so it means that both uh, both longitudinal strain and shearing stress shear, shearing strain is there when a spring is stretched by applying a load to its free free end when a spring is stretched by applying a load to its free end load to its free end so option c is the correct answer then is told that the young's modulus is defined as the ratio of young's modulus is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress or we can say it is the tensile stress longitudinal stress is also called tensile stress by tensile strain or longitudinal strain so the ratio of tensile stress and longitudinal longitudinal strain so option d is the correct answer then option 6 two wires a and b are stretched by the same load two wires a and b are stretched by the same load if the area of cross section two wires are there wires a area of cross section of a is double that of b so let us say this is b and this is a so area of cross section if this is a then this is 2a area is small a this is 2a okay so then the stress on b is stress by the same load now say the load is same f is same the load is same so now therefore stress so the stress on b stress on a that will be okay stress on a that will be f by 2a force per unit 
area and the stress on B stress on the wear B that will be F by A so which is equal to 2F by 2A 2 times of the stress on A 2 times the stress on A so stress on B is twice that on the stress A Okay, so it means option B is the correct answer. Then here it is told that a wire is stretched such that its volume remains constant. A wire is stretched such that its volume remains constant. So it is stretched on both sides by some force F. So when it is stretched, the length will increase but the radius has to decrease since the volume should remain constant. The volume is constant. We can say that the volume is pi r square into length the radius of cross section is r and the length is l so that should remain constant so it means that and it is told that the poisons ratio of the material of the wear is how much so then the poisons ratio poisons ratio that is given as lateral strain by longitudinal strain that is sigma that is given as lateral strain means delta r by r divided by delta l by l means it is lateral strain by longitudinal strain now volume is constant it means that delta v dv dv that is equal to 0 it means that d of pi r square l that will be equal to 0 it means d of pi r square l means it will be pi i can take it outside and I can cancel it and this will be 2R into delta R into L plus R square into delta L that is equal to 0. Now therefore R I can so this is means 2R into Poisson's ratio is minus delta R by R by delta L by L. So now this will be 2R okay so Poisson's ratio that is delta R by R. Okay. So, okay. Now, so 2R delta R into L that is equal to minus R square into delta L. So, R and R will cancel and then we can say that 2 into delta R by R that will be equal to delta L by L. So, that is minus delta L by L. Then, minus delta R by R. So, this will be Okay, so that is so delta R by R divided by delta L by L that will be equal to minus 0 0.5 so sigma will be equal to minus 0 0.5 so option D is the correct answer then we shall solve the last question of this chapter uh, okay so Young's modulus of a perfectly rigid body is Young's modulus of a perfectly rigid body so we know that Young's modulus that is equal to stress by strain means it is tensile stress by longitudinal strain so now if so for a so now for a perfectly so for a perfect rigid body there is no strain for a perfect rigid body there can be there is no extension there is no there is never any extension possible there is never any extension possible 
it means that any body which can never be extended that is called as a perfect rigid body so therefore for that delta l should be equal to 0 so if delta l equal to 0 so then we can say that y will be equal to f by a divided by 0 so it means it will be infinity so young's modulus will be infinity for a perfect rigid body so uh, option a is the correct answer so hope you have understood all the solutions of these questions and in any of the steps of the solution if you are unable to understand or any other doubts if you are having then please write us in the comment section and um, any other chapter of physics if you feel that it is more difficult for you then also please write the name of that chapter in the comments section we shall solve more and more questions on that which would be helpful for your KCET exam so here we shall end the class on mechanical properties of solids so thank thank you everyone bye